Work on a three classroom block for kindergarten one, two, and three pupils of the Akuyo Primary School in the Bongo district of the Upper East Region is progressing. Now, this follows a report which exposed conditions under which pupils studied in a report filed by Zubeda Ismail in December 2018. For years, this school infrastructure was poor. For the people of Akolio, a farming community, education was important to them. But a poor school building deprived kids of good education. Classes were combined. Parents had very little reason to send their children to school. Education infrastructure in the district was poor. Communities, including Akolio, had seen the poor school infrastructure and its toll on education and had made efforts to improve school buildings. To support these communities, the District Assembly initiated several moves. We are trying to see how we can address issues with reg regards to access, quality, and affordability. Akolio was one of such communities which benefited from a three-unit classroom block, and the residents could not hide their joy. A year on, I am here to find out if life has improved for these pupils. And indeed, it has improved as they no longer sit in the open for lessons. The Bongo District Assembly is constructing a three classroom block to accommodate the pupils. The block comes with a staff common room and a storeroom. TV3 was in that district some time ago and discovered that Akulio Primary School children were sitting under trees. So I followed up and I think those were, were my early days in office and realized that the children were actually sitting under trees. And the situation wasn't good. They were exposed to so many dangers that was even difficult for children of those ages to be able to sit and comprehend. So TV3 make, made a very um, passionate call to us. So we followed up and we decided to put up a three unit classroom block for that community. As we talk, the project is about 87% complete. We have finished the roofing. What is left now is the fittings and then the plastering. The good news is that the children have moved from under three schools into the classroom. Enrollment has shot up from the 178 pupils in the 2018-2019 academic year to 246 in the 2019-2020 academic year. The surge in enrollment has been attributed to the construction of the block which has boosted confidence of parents to enroll their wards in the school. Thank them so much for providing us this block. This block helped us a lot. It helped the teachers in the school to be able to feel comfortable and teach the children. And our children are able to stay in the school because at my time season like this, when they come, they will get place to sit. These parents were at a parents' teachers' meeting and their joy was evident. <laughs> Following Mission Ghana's report, some teachers were recruited to boost teaching. And a lot of teachers too didn't want to be posted to this district because of uh, they will not get classroom to teach. But this time, all teachers who they post to this uh, school uh, come to uh, report. And the teachers' enrollment too has also increased. Uh, we're having six teachers by then, but this time it's uh, 10 teachers. Uh, national service uh, uh, people to also post teachers to this particular school. Several other interventions have been undertaken by some non-governmental organizations. We added them to a UNICEF project where they are benefiting for football for wash activities. 
they've been supplied with jerseys, supplied with footballs, they've been given um, uh, football nets and goal posts. And these are all helping the children. The teachers in the school are part of a training scheme that we really serve from time to time, organized for teachers in the district. So they're also building their capacities. And I think it is through the effort of TV3 that they are getting all these benefits. The head teacher, Akafari Emmanuel, however appealed for the supply of textbooks. A lot of NGOs has come to our aid. So the syllabus, uh, we have some, but uh, because of the new curriculum they brought, now the government brought a lot of syllabus and we have them. However, we don't have textbooks and we'll be appealing to GES and other donors to come to our aid help us get textbooks. Meanwhile, the absence of electricity in the Akuluyo community is hampering quality education as children are unable to have extra studies in the night. The community is not having light okay. and the children, a lot of them would like to also learn during the night time. So if uh, government and uh, assemble can come to our aid and help us get light and we don't also have water, we use the community borehole. So the children travel far away to go and fetch water. So if uh, a sample can come to our aid or any donor that can come to our aid and help us with water. But the district chief executive, Peter Ayamga Yembisa, assured the community will be connected to the national grid shortly. We intend to also drill a borehole for the children. Because as it were now, they are a little bit far from the nearest source of portable water. So in the course of this year, we will be constructing a borehole for the children. The community generally is also requesting to be connected to the national grid, and we are poised to connect them to the national grid.